Hello guys, and welcome back to the Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to be doing ore generation, so let's get started. Ore generation contains quite a lot in a Minecraft 1.13, so it's going to be very different to the way we originally did it. So first thing we're going to do is create some ore blocks. I'm going to create um, one for each of the dimensions, but you don't have to do this, you can just create ore blocks for whatever dimensions you want. Just like we did in the blocks tutorial, I'll leave a link for it in the description if you don't have to do that already. So now we've completed the blocks, we can move on to the actual ore generation. We're going to create a new package, which is going to be the world package. And inside of the world package, we're going to create our ore generation class. So now we're going to create our um, register function for the ore generation. So public static void. Set up or generation. Doesn't take any parameters. Now we're going to actually generate our ores. Ores now work using biome features, which is how Minecraft generates all things in biomes. Apart from ores used to be different in older versions. But now ore generation also uses the biome features. So for biome biome. In forge registries dot biomes so all our ores will generate in every single biome if you want your ore just to generate in one biome you can just do biome biome equals biomes dot beach and then you could just do biome to add feature and that would just add your ore to one um, of the biomes but for now I'm generating them in every biome so the first thing we need is something called account range config which is basically a function that gets all of the um, generation information that we want to generate about it so we're going to call this tutorial or placement because this is the placement information it's a new count range config. And it takes in four parameters here. They're all hidden from us. But what they are is the chance to spawn. And this is to do with how many veins of our ore will spawn per chunk. For now, I'm going to set this to a ridiculously high number. I'm going to put 1,000, which should help me find the ore. But you can test out how... You can think about how much your ore wants to generate and decide what appropriate value is. You can test a few values and make sure it's appropriate. But for now, I'm going to put a thousand to make sure I can find it when we actually spawn. Then the next two parameters are minimum height and maximum height base. I'm not, I'm a bit unsure about what maximum height base is, but I just set minimum height and maximum height base to be the same thing. And then this is the maximum height as the fourth parameter. So I'm going to put 100. So it'll spawn between block um, block layer 20 and 100. And next we are actually going to generate our ore. Biome.add feature. Decoration stage. So decoration dot underground ores. And then the feature itself. New composite feature you can remove everything inside of here the first thing is the actual feature what type of feature is it it is feature dot mineable the next parameter is a new mineable config firstly it's a predicate which is something that checks for something Mineable config dot is rock. So it's going to check that where our ore is spawning is rock, which is the stone. So stone or andesite or diorite or all the different types of Minecraft stone. The next one is our block itself. Block list dot tutorial ore dot you want get default state as it wants it as an iBlock state. And then the final parameter 
is the maximum size of an ore vein. So how many ores can spawn in the same place? For here, I'm going to put 20, but this is an absurdly large value. Most ores have between like five and 10. So you can decide what's most appropriate for yours. Then this parameter is new count range. And then finally, um, here you want our configuration, tutorial, or placement. And that will tell it all the properties for spawning. And that is our overworld thing added. Now back in tutorial mod, the main class, and go into the setup function and do all generation dot setup all generation. And we will have overworld um, blocks spawning. So if you just want to do overworld blocks, you can end this video here. But now we're going to go on to how to generate in the nether and end. So we are going to create something called a dimensional generator. And this is actually some code that I um, saw from McJitty. He is a um, another Minecraft modding YouTuber and he also makes text tutorials. Go check him out, there's a link in the description. And basically it's going to be the um, composite feature um, that we just used to generate, but it's going to take into account the dimension, which um, will help with lag as it won't be searching through every single biome. It will only search through um, biomes in the nether or in the end, depending on which dimension you choose. So well, firstly, this is going to do f extends i feature config comma p extends i placement config extends composite feature um, f p so it just extends the composite feature um, and then firstly we're going to get the dimension private final dimension type dimension and this will also work if you are, have a custom dimension which we haven't got onto yet and I don't recommend doing in 1.13 um, Minecraft 1.14 for modding will come out soon enough so that version will be much more fixed than this 1.13 beta version so we'll go get onto that later on in the tutorials but for now you can just use the three Minecraft dimensions then create a constructor. It's going to take in a few parameters. Feature, F, feature in. F, feature config. Base placement, P base placement and p placement config and finally this is all this exactly the same as inside of composite feature but we're going to add the dimension property on there as well dimension type dimension Control Shift O import net.minecraft.world.gen.feature.feature and then we're going to super off of all these things feature, feature config, base placement and placement config and then we are going to set this.dimension equals dimension so far this hasn't actually done anything different to composite feature now we are going to get Funk 212245A. In the future, this will probably have been renamed to something much more appropriate. But basically, it's the get dimension function. If world.getDimension 
dot get type dot equals dimension. So if it's in the correct dimension that we want to spawn in, you can turn the super. So you can continue with the generation. But if it isn't the correct dimension, return false. So if we're in the wrong dimension, it won't try to generate the ore, and it should make world loading times a lot quicker. So now we can go back into ore generation, and we can do a couple more of these. So give this a copy. But change tutorial ore placement to tutorial ore nether placement. You can change around your properties in here. Um, like in the nether, I want it to spawn all the way between 0 and 256. Just I want it to spawn everywhere around the nether. We're going to want to change this block list here to tutorial or nether. Uh, change the placement to tutorial or nether placement. This from composite feature to dimensional generator. And then on the end, put a comma and put dimension type dot nether. You can do the same for end. But you might notice a problem here. We have this mineable config that is rock, but there isn't actually any rock in the nether or the end. So we're going to have to fix that. We have to create our own predicates um, for nether rack and end stone. So let's create a private static final predicate of iBlock state. As we want to take in a block is nether rack. And this is equal to state lambda state dot get block. is equal to blocks.netherrack and that is the predicate for is netherrack so it checks if it's the correct state of netherrack and finally we want is endstone same thing apart from blocks.endstone then change this is rock here to um, is netherrack and this one too is endstone. And there we go, we have our ores that will generate in each of our dimensions. So now we're in the new world. If you look in your um, tutorial, I accidentally put two underscores there, but you have tutorial ores, tutorial nether ore, and tutorial end ore. And if you dig down, as you can see, we have tutorial ore here. And there's lots and lots of it spawning around, um, as I made it very, very common. Now, if we go into the nether, as we can see here, we've got tutorial nether ore spawning. And then if we go into the end, as we can see, my um, tutorial end ore is also spawning. I've made a mistake with the texture. As you can see, it's very, 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 very common. Which is why you should not have such a high chance value. But anyway, as you can see, all generation works in all three um, dimensions. So there's this tutorial over. Thanks for watching. My name's been Harry, and goodbye.